Well, welcome back to Closing Bell. You're coming uh, live from the CNBC TV 18 Motilalo Spal studio. Well, uh, you know, the couple of stocks are deserving mention actually as we speak. ITC clearly going into the event not expecting a shocker, so that's at the high point of the day. And Bidla saw from the broader markets, well, that's another one that's bucking the trend. It's currently moved to the high point of the day. But it's a good time to go across to Nimesh on our special segment, these three chat chatter. Nimesh, what's the insights into dealing room? Well, Angel, you know, the good part about today's market is there is a bit of a broader market participation. Yes. So the broader markets have done well today. And uh, there are two bits to it. One, uh, the, my understanding is there is lack of FIS intensity selling. You know, we've seen the kind of numbers for the last couple of days, 5,000 crores and 6,000 crores of FIS selling on a daily basis. That seems to be not the case today. So that's one good one good bit. I think the second part where there's a bit of comfort in the market today is the fact that now the now it looks like the Adani uh, Enterprise FPO will go through. Reason being, one time QIB subscribe, so that that is taken care of. Overall, it's more than uh, nine uh, uh, more than uh, ninety percent. It's been done now. So those two factors means that technically, even if from here on there is no single bid, the issue goes through. So that's the reason why there's a bit of comfort in the market and that's playing out in the broader markets. Even in terms of if you look at sectors, financial is, is something which, which has seen a bit of a bounce back today. But again, uh, well, yes, there is a small buying interest in, in that pocket, but the bigger thing is there is lack of uh, you know selling, selling from the larger FIs. That's been the big trend for the last many days in the financial names, and that's missing today. Uh, technically, I guess now 17, 18 is, is the level to watch. That's been a big uh, support in the past. Now it's become a resistance, so that's something to watch out. I guess budget will be very important to watch out tomorrow. If there is no specific mention about capital gain tax, maybe you'll see a further relief rally. So that's the overall feedback from the market. I guess today, you know, uh, there is no big larger participation also because there is a big event coming up tomorrow. So that needs to be out of the way. One big event, which is Adani FPO, that's out of the way. Now if budget is out of the way and there is no negative surprise, you might say a bit of a pullback rally, given the fact that we've fallen so much and the bank nifty has fallen massively in the last few days. Well, that's right. You know, Nimesh, just, uh, it'll be a relief to see if the FIs slow down on their selling because it's sold about $800 million in yeah, a single session. That is the highest since June 2022 itself. Yeah. What about individual stocks? Though? What are you picking up? Uh, you know, before I talk about individual stocks, Nigel, even in terms of the FIs selling, you know, yeah. while everybody would have thought that because of this whole Arani thing, there is panic from the larger FIs, the feedback that I am getting personally from most of the dealing room is that uh, there is genuine money moving out from India to other markets which are doing relatively better. Mm. You keep hearing every uh, you know global expert talking about China being a preferred market. So yeah. there is there is this tendency of moving, moving money moving from India to other markets. So that's playing out as far as the FI flows are concerned. Now coming to the individual stocks. Now the first stock on my list today is Zomato. After a very long time, the feedback is there is there is a massive buying interest at a leading FI desk today. And hence, you have seen a bit of an up move in that stock as well. So, the delivery volumes are expected to be quite high in Zomato and Today Street. So, that's the first one. The second stock is ICSF Bank. While uh, overall, there is a feedback that, uh, you know, some bit of buying interest is back in the financial names. ICSF Bank is the only stock where uh, the, the feedback was there is still selling, uh, selling supply from a larger FI. So, it looks like, you know, at least this is one stock where there is a shift happening from ICSA to other private bank tenants that stock is still under pressure as far as flows are concerned. And the last one is Aurobindo Pharma. Again, you know, almost at 52 to week high, even at these levels, uh, the feedback is there is selling, uh, selling pressure from the larger FI. So, delivery volumes for the last few days has been high. That's, been the, that's going to be the case today as well. But looks like a leading FI is, is taking a big call and exiting Aurobindo Pharma. And hence, that stock has been under pressure throughout the week and into the state as well. Okay. By the way, uh, 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 Nimesh, uh, uh, thanks very much for that. News uh, coming in at the bottom of the screen, the Adani Enterprises FPOs 